Hello, my dear students. Uh, last class, I explained active earth pressure and passive earth pressure. Now, all of you know that uh, uh, active earth pressure is associated with the expansion of the soil and is always minimum. While passive earth pressure is associated with contraction of the soil and is maximum. Suppose in its neutral state. The elements of the soil, uh, suppose um, now this is at a depth desert, uh, below the ground surface is not subjected to any strain. Means there is no expansion, no contraction. The element is in a condition that is at rest. So, the pressure corresponding to this rest condition is called as earth pressure at rest. The earth pressure at rest is also called as um, elastic equilibrium of soil. Now you can see this is a retaining wall of height h. Okay, And this is the soil element and the vertical uh, stress and horizontal stress. Now this is the ground surface. Uh, let us consider this is z. Uh, means soil uh, mass we are considering at a depth of z. Okay. So, this is the earth pressure diagram here. This is the earth pressure diagram. This is a triangular shape. So, at a depth z, uh, the pressure developed is K0 into gamma into z. Okay, and um, suppose if it is at a distance of anywhere, okay, suppose here, okay, that is h by 3 because you have to take the centroid of this triangle that is 1 by 3, so it is h by 3. So, at that point, this um, uh, earth pressure at rest is equal to, uh, this is uh, nothing but half into k0 into gamma into h square, that is nothing but the area of this this pressure distribution, sorry, earth pressure distribution diagram means area of the triangle is half into base into height. So, half into base is now a pressure at, the, at this depth is K0 into gamma into Z, okay. But at this depth, that is for full H, full height, so that becomes K0 into gamma into H. So, uh, the uh, Total uh, uh, pass, uh, sorry, pressure at rest is equal to half into base into height. Base is K0 into gamma into H into height. Height is H. So, it becomes P0 uh, uh, earth pressure at rest is equal to half into K0 into gamma into H square. Okay. Uh, so, like this, uh, you can calculate uh, uh, what is earth pressure at rest. Now, let us see um, what is uh, the Rankine's theory of earth pressure and how it is applied to active state and passive uh, state. Okay, now uh, uh, for any theory uh, uh, before derivation, uh, there will be uh, some assumptions. So, uh, according to this uh, Rankine's theory, um, he uh, has done the following assumptions that is, the soil mass is semi infinite, homogeneous, dry and cohesionless. Okay, he considered the soil mass as semi-infinite and homogeneous. Homogeneous means um, it has the same property in all, uh, same property in all the uh, same properties. Okay, and the dry, the condition is always dry and the soil is cohesionless. And his theory is applicable to cohesionless soil. Okay, there is no proper bonding between the soil. The ground surface is plain, which may be horizontal or inclined. The back of the wall is vertical and smooth. The wall is about the base and thus satisfies the deformation condition for plastic equilibrium. Okay, this is... Uh, uh, Rankine's uh, assumptions, uh, but uh, sometimes what happens? So this uh, uh, the back of the wall is vertical and smooth. Uh, what you can say is uh, there are uh, no shearing stresses between the wall and the soil, and the stress relationship for any element adjacent to the soil is same as for any other element uh, for away from the wall. That is the meaning of that. Uh, and uh, 
what happens sometimes uh, the retaining walls are constructed of masonry or concrete and hence the back of the wall is never smooth okay so due to this frictional forces develop as a consequence of rankin's assumption of no existence of frictional forces at the wall face the resultant pressure must be parallel to the surface of the back face but the existence of the friction makes the resultant pressure inclined to the normal to the wall at an angle that approaches the friction angle between the soil and wall okay usually the wall is not vertical and smooth okay uh, it may be uh, and rough so because of that roughness there will be frictional forces developed so for that you have to consider the angle delta okay now let us see uh, what is the active earth pressure for uh, cohesion less soil okay there are uh, different backfill conditions let us see one by one the first one is the horizontal backfill and uh, next one we will consider submerged backfill next we will consider backfill with the surcharge and then we will consider backfill with the sloping surface and uh, or um, incline and surface okay now i will consider the first one that is active earth pressure and uh, this is for all uh, uh, these conditions for cohesion less soil okay here um, I, this is the retaining wall of height h and uh, this is just one point i consider z okay so as explained in the earth pressure at rest condition here also same uh, the pressure developed at this point is ka into gamma into z and here it is ka into gamma into h because for the full height this is is the lateral pressure okay active pressure which is developed at a height of h by 3 now we will see in detail suppose the horizontal backfill means there will be a dry or moist soil or moist backfill okay here there is no surcharge only uh, the horizontal surface what we'll do let us consider uh, same thing what i explained uh, consider element at a depth z below the ground surface when the ball is at the point of moving outwards means away from the ball because we are doing it for the uh, active stage okay so here okay this is the ball and we are considering this depth z okay and uh, below the ground surface so wall is moving uh, away from the field the active state of the plastic equilibrium is established so here the horizontal pressure uh, sigma h um, is minimum because in the case of active uh, pressure the pressure is always mix, uh, minimum so sigma h that is the lateral earth pressure that is always minimum okay and uh, minimum pressure is nothing but sigma 3 okay uh, then vertical pressure that is sigma v okay that is the vertical pressure and that is the major uh, principal stress that means sigma 1 so sigma 1 is major principal stress and sigma 3 is minor principal stress here in the case of uh, active state horizontal pressure is always minimum so the uh, horizontal uh, pressure is sigma 3 okay now we know this formula i explained in the last class that is uh, sigma 1 is equal to sigma 3 into tan square 45 plus 5 by 2 actually this uh, formula is uh, sigma 1 is equal to 2c tan 45 plus 5 by 2 plus sigma 3 into tan square 45 plus 5 by 2 but here this uh, all uh, the derivations are for uh, cohesion less soil so c is equal to 0 so once if you substitute c is equal to 0 in that equation this becomes sigma 1 is equal to sigma 3 into tan square 45 plus 5 by 2 okay now 
uh, uh, we'll see how to uh, find this pressure. Uh, see uh, uh, the coefficient of active earth pressure that is nothing but sigma h divided by sigma v. Okay, in this case, what is sigma h? Sigma h is equal to sigma 3 and sigma v is equal to sigma 1. So, that is nothing but if you write this equation uh, in terms of sigma 3, what you will get? I mean, sigma 3 divided by sigma 1. Okay, so that is sigma 3 divided by sigma 1 is equal to this goes to that side that is inverse of this 1 divided by tan square 45 plus 5 by 2. That is nothing but cot square 45 plus 5 by 2. Okay, now sigma h is the lateral earth pressure that is Pa. Okay, this is Pa, lateral earth pressure developed, horizontal earth pressure. And sigma v is the vertical pressure on the element. So, vertical pressure means you have to consider the weight into the height of the soil. Okay, now I consider only till this height. So, that is z. So, the weight of this soil, that is unit weight, that is given by gamma okay so the gamma is nothing but unit weight unit weight is the weight of the soil to the volume of the soil it is uh, uh, given by uh, i mean uh, the unit is kilonewton per meter cube okay so unit weight is nothing but the ratio of the weight of the soil to the volume of the soil so now we have to calculate vertical pressure so pressure is nothing but uh, this uh, weight into the distance. So, in this case that is vertical pressure. So, you have to consider unit weight. That is why it is gamma and height is z. We have considered only that height z. Okay. Now, Pa is equal to means uh, this gamma z into cot square 45 plus 5 by 2. That is this cot square 45 plus 5 by 2 is nothing but Ka. Okay. That is uh, coefficient of active earth pressure. So, Pa becomes Ka into gamma into z. Okay. How you get this Pa means suppose uh, now uh, yeah uh, we know that uh, Pa is equal to uh, horizontal stress divided by uh, the vertical uh, sorry ka is equal to horizontal stress divided by vertical stress in this case uh, k is equal to sigma 3 divided by sigma v sigma 3 is nothing but pa okay that is sigma h here pa divided by gamma z here okay that is sigma v so once if you write that you will get pa is equal to k into gamma into z i think um, i will try to write um, okay this is why this is gamma z because we know uh, k a uh, that is equal to uh, sigma uh, h divided by sigma h divided by sigma v okay in this case sigma h is equal to sigma 3 and this is sigma um, 1 that is nothing but sigma v okay so uh, sigma 3 is nothing but that is uh, horizontal force lateral force that is represented by p a okay and this sigma v that is nothing but this gamma z okay so gamma z so what is this now p k a is equal to p a divided by gamma into z so p a is equal to p a is equal to k a into gamma into z okay that's why this equation here p a is equal to k into gamma into z where k a is equal to that is uh, cot square 45 plus uh, 45 by 2 or you can write coefficient of uh, active earth pressure that is equal to 1 minus sine phi divided by 1 plus 
sin phi. So if phi is equal to, suppose I substitute phi is equal to 30 degree, then it becomes 1 minus sin 30 divided by 1 plus sin 30, that is equal to 1 divided by 3. Okay, so this is uh, the pressure developed at the bottom and now you have to uh, calculate the total active earth pressure that is nothing but the area of this pressure distribution diagram that is nothing but half into Ka gamma H into H that is equal to Pa active earth pressure is equal to half into Ka into gamma into H square which is acting at a distance of H by 3 above the base of the wall. If gamma is ray weight you have to substitute gamma D. If it is wet weight you have to substitute gamma uh, weight uh, moist. Okay. So like this you can calculate the uh, total active earth pressure. Thank you.